Welcome, welcome, Tim G5TM. Hope you're keeping well. Uh, I thought I'd look today at folded dike bulbs. So folded dike bulbs, what are they? Well, they're centre-fed antennas and it's got wire that's folded back on itself effectively. Uh, the format's very much like a very squashed loop. Uh, let's take a look at one, see what it looks like. So the folded dipole, fed in the middle, as you can see. You can see that the ends are effectively going back over uh, each other to the top there. It looks like a very squashed loop, doesn't it? You can build it with one wire going back over the top or maybe even 450 ohm ladder line with the ends shorted together. So um, if you allow, say, a one foot of space, what's that, about 30 centimetres of space between the two wires, then effectively you reduce the length of the wire by some, or the dipole, by about 5%. So a 66 foot dipole for 40 metres would go down to about 63 feet overall. Another thing it does as well, it uh, changes the feed point impedance. So that second wire uh, multiplies the feed point impedance by a factor of four. So for example, if your dike ball, let's say we'll take the textbook example, has an impedance of 72 ohms, then with the folded dike ball version, we're now talking about 280 odd ohms. So to feed a folded dike ball, you've got two options. You can either use coax, 50 ohm coax with a four to one balance which will bring your uh, impedance down to somewhere around 70 odd ohms or something like that, or maybe a bit less, depending on how high the antenna is. Um, and that would be perfectly fine. Or, of course, you could feed it with 300 ohm uh, ladder line or twin lead, whatever you want to call it. And that will give you pretty much a very good match. Other things that people like about folded dike bulbs is the fact that your bandwidth tends to be a bit wider too, because effectively having that second wire, or of the wire folding back on itself, I should say, uh, creates really what's a very much thicker wire for your dipole, with thicker wires generally lead to a uh, broader bandwidth. Now, they're not a, um, a silver bullet, a magic antenna at all. Uh, they're a good antenna, a bit like a normal dipole, you're able to work uh, odd harmonics on it. But actually, uh, the problem you have with a folded dipole is if you try then to turn it into, say, a multi-band doublet, like you would with a normal dipole antenna. Now with, with a multi-band doublet, what I mean by that is two single wires as a dipole. This is a normal dipole now, okay? Two single wires, centre fed with ladder line, into a balanced tuner, or maybe a one-to-one -one ballon, and a little bit of coax into a nice chunky tuner, bit of coax into your radio, and normally you can tune any band, say on a 66-foot version, or a 20-metre long version, you can to most bands on 40 metres and probably even 60 metres, um, sometimes even 80 metres and uh, up to 10. Lovely. Okay. Now, with a folded dike ball, because of the design, in effect, that um, second wire, if you like, even though it's the same wire, but the second wire, you know, the thick, it makes it a bit of a thicker antenna, what that does is actually create a problem on even harmonics. It literally suppresses the radiation so much it becomes literally a dead short which means that even if you force fed that folded uh, dipole with ladder line, like you would for a doublet, it wouldn't do very well on the even harmonics. So for example, if you had a 66 foot version, you've got 40 meters clearly. If you try to use that on 20 or 10 meters, which are the second and fourth harmonics, unlike a single wire or two single wire dipole legs, with the folded version, which is basically a squash loop, okay, there's a lot of cancellation when it comes to the even harmonics. So it doesn't do very well at all, even when fed with ladder line as a doublet in, uh, in terms of its performance on 20 meters and its performance on 10 meters, which is probably the biggest disadvantage of the folded dipole if, and only if, you wanted to turn it into a multi-band doublet like its um, more conventional uh, cousin of the, uh, you know, the two single wires for the doublet. So to recap, the folded dipole, a useful antenna, um, slightly broader bandwidth, doesn't need to be quite as long, but we're only talking a few percentage uh, uh, in terms of less long, in terms of being shorter. Um, yeah, you can feed it with 300 ohm ladder line, uh, so if you don't want the inconvenience of a chunky ballon on a fairly um, less than sort of sturdy supporting pole, if you're running an inverted V, for example, you can get rid of that and feed 300 ohm down to a one-to-one -one ballon and run it that way. That sounds like a good idea. But this um, issue it has is that on the even harmonics, it's a far, far worse performer 
than the conventional dipole when it's turned into a multiband doublet. And that's probably its biggest disadvantage. Anyway, that's a look at the folded dipole. Hope you enjoyed it. If you fancy clicking subscribe, that'd be lovely. And uh, thanks for joining me. Tim G5TM, wishing you 7-3. Bye-bye.